Hello, this is Mike Gamber with Blackhawk again. Um, a lot of you guys have got the 250 intruder motor and now we've gone into the Aero 1000 motor. Um, sometimes the engine can start running rough for some unexplained reason and a lot of times what we've found is it's just a matter of rebooting your ECU. Um, just like your computer, once the things go for a while or whatever, you need to turn them off and turn them back on or or reboot it and it's not any different with the ECU on these engines. So I'm just going to take you through this real quick. Uh, we just now are getting the manual for this motor posted onto the website from Swiss Auto. Um, the manual is actually for the Aero 1000 but the engines are the same. So any troubleshooting on your engine, any electrical, any of the parts and stuff that are just engine related not redrive or mounting related it's all the same there, so you can use that manual for both engines. Um, that should be on the website today or tomorrow. Uh, anyways, this, this information is found in that manual. The manual is very well done by Swiss Auto. I'm very happy with it. Um, anyways, I'm going to just take you through this real quick. Uh, on the manual, you're going to find that on page 26, and it just says reset ECU DTC codes. This doesn't change anything within the ECU. It literally just like reboots it. So there's not gonna be any effect on how the engine uh, is mapped or anything else. Uh, what we have found though is that 90% of the time rebooting it fixes a lot of these little uh, rough running issues and that type of stuff. So it says turn on the ignition by moving the switch to the middle position. The switch here on mine is set up on the back here. Some of yours might be mounted down here. So when you turn it on, you'll hear the fuel pump cycle and that fuel pump cycles for about five seconds. So we'll go ahead and turn it on. Fuel pump is cycling. Okay, once it's cycled, we'll go ahead and turn it off. So I've moved it back into the up position on this one. We'll wait five seconds, and it's specific about the time. So after five seconds, we're gonna turn this on and off, on and off, on and off, three times. So there's on, off, on, off, on, off. Now we're gonna wait 10 seconds. So we have our little stopwatch out. We're gonna wait 10 seconds for it. And then once the 10 seconds is up, we'll go ahead and turn that to the on position. This has probably been 10 seconds. We let the fuel pump go ahead and cycle. Once the fuel pump is cycled, which is about five seconds, then we can go ahead and turn the engine. Give that a try if you're having any rough running issues or something you know, along those lines. Give that the first shot and then go out and give it a run and see how it does. Thanks for joining me. We'll talk to you later. Bye.